Okay, so, so far in this chapter, we've been focusing on starting with an equation and then finding solutions to things. So, uh, the easier ones start off with something like y equals to 3x plus 1, for instance, and then they might ask you to evaluate this when x equals to 7. Or they might ask you to find the slope, which we know is the 3, right? Or they might ask you to find the y-intercept, which is 0 comma 1. Right? Okay, so this is a, a simpler one we start out with. They up the ante a little bit by mixing this stuff around a little bit. Like we might get something like 3x plus 2y equals to 9. Okay, so same kinds of questions. They might ask you to find some ordered pairs. Uh, they might ask you to find the slope. So we'd have to do a little bit of algebra so we can put it into the slope intercept form of a linear equation. And then we can find the slope and y intercept, right? So if we wanted to solve for y, uh, to find the slope and y-intercept, if that's what they asked us, find the slope and y-intercept. Well, here, too easy, right? m, the slope was 3, and the y-intercept, 0, 1. Okay, well, here, well, okay, it just takes a little bit more work. We'd have to solve for y. Move this guy over, we get 2y equals to negative 3x plus 9. Divide everybody by 2, we get y equals to negative 3 over 2x uh, plus 9 over 2. And so now we can answer it. The slope, m, is equal to negative 3 over 2. And the y-intercept is 0, 9 halves or 4.5. Okay, good? All right, so now in this section, what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards. We're going to be given some information, and we're going to be asked to find the equation of the line. So there is a variety of different word problems and different um, exercises that will be given to you. Uh, but all of them in this section really have the goal in mind of getting you to find the, the equation of the line that satisfies certain conditions. So the first one, for instance, might be this. So they might say something like, find the equation of the line that has slope of 3 and uh, goes through the point. 0, 7. Okay, this one is really easy as well, right? So first of all, whenever you see the words find the equation of the line, you should always jump right to this formula. Okay. Your mission is to find the m and the b, and well, that mission is sometimes really easy and sometimes it's really hard. So you need to find those two values, the m and the b. So the way this one was phrased, what is the m going to be? Three. Three. And what's the b going to be? Seven. Seven. So there's really no work to be done here. We know that in general, the m is the slope and the zero comma b is the y-intercept. And this is the y-intercept since it's zero comma seven. So I know that this has to be the b. So there's really no work to be done here. The equation is then y equals to 3x plus 7. Good? Really easy, right? Okay. Well, uh, a variety of questions are given where it's really basically this, but they just kind of twist things uh, a little bit, up the ante a little bit. So for instance, uh, we could have this one. Find the equation of a line that goes through the slope, I'm sorry, that has the slope m equals to 3 and contains the point 2 comma 5. So we have equation of line that, go, that has slope 3 and goes through the point 2 comma 5. Okay? First kind of mistake we get is that people think the answer is y equals to 3x plus 5. What's wrong with that? That's not the y-intercept. This is not the y-intercept. This is just some random point. This is not b. Okay? So we have to find b. This is not b. Okay, well, we can plug in the m though. From this statement, from this question, we do have that m is equal to 3. So we're at this stage, one down, one to go. And now we get to use the other point. Now the other point uh, is got to be a point 
that is on the line. So once we find that value, it's got to be a value that makes this be true. So in other words, when we use when we use this, this has to be a special choice of b such that when x is equal to 2, y equals to 5. So in that formula, we're going to replace the y with a 5, and we get 3 times something plus b, and the x is a 2. Okay. So I want to find the value of b such that when I plug in an x equals to 2, the answer is 5. Because right? that's what this is saying. When x is 2, y is 5. So now we just solve this. We get 5 equals to 6 plus b. So negative 1 equals to b. Negative 1 is the value that will make this true. So now we're done. We come back over here and we get y equals to 3x minus 1. Okay, we can check it. We can check it by plugging in a 2. Is it true that if we put a 2 in there, we're going to get a true statement that y is going to be with a 5? Yes, 2 will give us a 6, minus 1 is 5, and so we get the true state, uh, a true statement. So 5 is really the answer when x is replaced by a 2 in this equation. True. Any questions? No, 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 no. Okay, um, so they can get a little more complicated though. How about this one? Find the equation of the line that contains the points uh, negative 2 comma 6 and 3 comma negative 4. Classic algebra question, find it all the time. Given two points, find the equation of the line. Right? I'm sure you've ran into that problem many times before. So. Uh, whenever you see the words, find the equation of the line, the first thing you should do is y equals mx plus b. You should have that deeply ingrained in you. Find the equation of the line, just get down to writing this down. Your mission is to find the m and the b, and there could be a variety of information given to you to find those two things. So, uh, can we have, do we have enough information to find the b at this point? Really? Do we have enough information to find the m? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we can use the formula m equals to y sub 2, y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This is given two points uh, that are on the line, and they've given us uh, those two things. So let's say that this is uh, negative 2 comma 6. Let's call that point number 1. That means we label this as x1, y1. And we label the other one, 3 comma negative 4, as x2, y2. Okay, so now we can plug them into here. So it'll be negative 4 minus 6 divided by 3 minus negative 2. Okay, negative 4 minus 6, 3 minus negative 2. This is going to be equal to negative 10 divided by positive 5, which gets us to negative 2. The slope is negative 2. Any questions, 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 questions? Okay, so one down, one to go. Going back to our general formula, y equals mx plus b. We've discovered that the m is negative 2. Now all we have to do is find the b. And we are given, we've been given two points that we can use to do that. It doesn't matter which one you use, both of them are going to give you the same answer. Pick one of them, whichever one looks easiest or whatever you want to use. So I'm just going to use uh, 3 comma negative 4. And just like before, we want to find the B value that guarantees that that's a true statement. We know that this is a special value, a unique value of X and a unique value of Y that make that equation true. So negative 4 better be the answer when x is equal to positive 3. That's what I need. Find the value of b that makes that true. So we get negative 4 equals to negative 6 plus b. Moving that over, we get that 2 equals to b, adding 6 to both sides. And so now we have our answer. y equals mx plus b. I know y equals to negative 2x plus 2. So there's my formula. Okay. The m was negative 2, the b turned out to be positive 2. Good. 
Questions, 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 questions? No? Mm -hmm. And we can check it. Check. So it must be true that those two points are solutions to this. So negative 4 better be the answer when negative 2 times positive 3 plus 2. That better be a true statement. That's going to be negative 6 plus 2. That's going to be equal to negative 4. Yep, that's true. Good. Uh, and then the other one, we have that uh, 6 better be the answer when x is a negative 2 plus 2. Uh, negative 2. That's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, and uh, plus 2 is going to be 6, so that's also true. Any questions? No? 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 We're good? Okay, so um, let's go this way. So a general strategy then when you are given two points, it's a really, really common uh, 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 type of problem you face in algebra. So when you're given two points and you want to find the equation line that, that, that contains those two points, first use those two points and your slope formula to find the slope of the line. Then you're going to pick one of the two points that are given to you, or if they gave you other points, that's fine, any points that are definitely on the line. Substitute the m into the uh, y equals mx plus b formula. Then use one of the other two points to plug in the x and y so you can solve for b. That's what we did over here. Uh, and then finally, now you can substitute the m and the b back into the equation. And you'll have your equation for y equals mx plus b. Then you can either graph it or you can substitute some points to verify that you do have an equation that satisfies the conditions you were after. Okay? Good? Good, good? All right. So... Uh, what if they play a, 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 give you a little curveball here? Find an equation on the line that contains the point 5 comma 3 and is parallel to the line y equals uh, 2x minus 3. Okay, so not quite as straightforward as the previous one of here are two points, find the equation on the line, but it's still not too bad. What do we know about parallel lines? Slopes are the same, okay? So they didn't give me the slope of the line I want, but they said it was parallel to this other equation, so we can get the slope from there. So just as a rough, probably ugly sketch of that line, we have y there, uh, let's say we have x over here. Uh, we're working with y equals to, so let's say given, uh, y equals to 2x minus 3. So I know the y-intercept is 0 comma negative 3. So it's going to be right over there somewhere. And then I know the slope is 2, so that I know that if I rewrite this as m equals to 2 over 1, where I have the rise over the run, then I know that if I go out one unit this way, the run, one unit, and then two units up, the rise, I get to another point that's also on the line. So then if I connect these, and we pretend that's a straight line, there's my equation, right? A rough sketch of it. Uh, what kind of ordered pair would this guy be? This is the point 0, comma, negative 3. That's what this one was. What is this one going to be? We went out one unit. 1, comma, negative 1. 1 comma negative 1. Good. So we had a height of negative 3 down here, but then we went up by 2, so we got to a height of negative 1. Right? And we can find other points this way if we want to. One more unit this way, two more units up. I'm going to get to another point on the line. And what's that point going to be? That's going to be the point two 3, comma. 2 comma, 2 comma 1. Good. And we can keep going if we want to to find more points. Okay, so this is the line they gave me, and they said that the one they, the, they want me to find a new line that's parallel to this one, but there isn't like a unique answer when you just say parallel. This line and uh, that line are parallel, and that line are parallel, and that one is parallel, and that one is parallel. Ooh, it's not parallel, is it? Parallel and parallel, right? There's an infinite number of lines that are parallel. So 
In particular, they want me to find a line that's parallel to this one, but also goes to the point 5 comma 3. So that would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and say somewhere over here, somewhere around there. So they want me to find a line that is parallel to this one, but also goes through this point right in there, which is the point uh, 5 comma 3. Right? So I want a line that will go kind of this way. That yellow one is what we're after. Okay. All right, so uh, the equation. We know that we must use, oops, must use m equals to 2 because it's parallel, so it's got to have the same slope as the one that's given to me. And it must go through this point. So, so far we have y equals mx plus b. The m better be a 2 plus b. And, well, they didn't give me the y-intercept. They just gave me some other random point. So I got to plug them into here. Use 5 comma 3. This is a choice of uh, x and y. So 3 better be the answer when 2 times 5 plus b is used. So we get 3 equals to 10 plus b. Moving that over, we get negative 7 equals to b. And so we have our equation. Our final answer is y equals mx plus b. We knew that was a 2 because they need to be parallel, so we used the same slope. And we found that the slope, uh, the y-intercept was negative 7. So there is our equation. Good. Questions, questions, questions? So this is the equation of this one, which was given. And we just discovered that the equation of this yellow one is y equals to 2x minus 7. Any questions? No? 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 OK, still pretty easy. Uh, what about find the equation of the line L that contains the point 6, comma, negative 7 and is perpendicular to the line negative 2x plus 5y equals to 10. OK, so uh, whenever you see the, quest the statement find the equation of the line, you should write down y equals mx plus b. That's what we need to do. We need to find the m. We need to find the b. They've given us clues as to how to find each of these. So the fact that it's perpendicular, how does that help us? Opposite reciprocals, right, of the slope. So the first thing we need to do is find the slope of that line. Okay, so the given, uh, given equation is equal to negative 2x plus 5y equals to 10. So we need to solve for y, get it into the slope-intercept form of a linear equation so that we can use the slope from here to find the slope we need. So this will be 5y equals to 2x plus 10. Divide everybody by 5, y equals to 2 fifths x plus 2. Okay, let me do a quick little sketch of what this thing looks like. Y x. So y intercept at 2, 1, 2. And we know that the slope is 2 over 5, so we're going to go out 5 units that way, 2 units up. Five and one, two. Get to another point. So roughly here is the line. Something like that. So that's the given line. And they're saying find a new line that's perpendicular to that one. And well, there's an infinite number of possible answers. Uh, here is a line that's perpendicular. There it is. Goes that way. It's perpendicular. Here is another one. Goes that way. It's perpendicular. Right? There's an infinite number of them. How about this one? And of course, these two are what to each other? Parallel. Parallel, right? Okay, so there's an infinite number of them. But in particular, they want us to find the one that's perpendicular and also goes through the point 6, comma, negative 7. So let's see, that's 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so somewhere over here at 6, comma, negative 7 is a point, and we want to find the line that goes this way toward it, like that. So that's the equation we're after. 
All right, so in order for uh, two lines to be perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals, opposite reciprocals. Another way to think about it is that when you find both slopes and you multiply them, the answer should be negative, negative one. Okay, so here is one slope, m equals to two fifths. So that means I, I must use, I must use slope of m equals two, so this is the slope of, I'll write it this way, slope of L1, the one that's given. Uh, no, I don't like that. Uh, slope of given line is 2 fifths, which means that I must use slope of negative 5 over 2. Right? And we also can double check that, or the other way to think about that is that it must be true that when you multiply these two slopes, the answer should be negative one. Right? So they kind of cancel out, this one's a negative, so the twos cancel, we end up with negative one. Good, good. Okay, so I found the slope, now I gotta find the y-intercept. So we got y equals mx plus b. I found that the slope that I have to use is this one. So negative 5 over 2x plus b. And now I got one more point. I can plug in that 6 comma negative 7. So use 6 comma negative 7. So negative 7 better be the answer when negative 5 over 2 times uh, 6 plus b is used. 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we get negative 7 equals to negative 15 plus b. Therefore, b must be 8, and you add 15 to both sides. And so now we have our value for b, and we had our value for m. We can plug them into our formula, y equals mx plus b, and so y equals to negative 5 over 2x uh, plus 8. So there's our equation. Good, good, good. good. I think we have time for one more real quick. How about this one? Find the equation of that line up there. So we have this circle and it's perpendicular at that point right there. How do we find the equation of the line? Things get harder and harder, right? So do they give me enough information to find the slope? or to find the y-intercept, how do we find that line? So I have one point on the line. How do I find another one, or what can I do? Can I use the fact that it's perpendicular there with this line there? Yeah, yeah. yeah? and so... How about if I find the equation of this line? And then put the negative reciprocal of that Then line. negative reciprocal of that one. Great. Well, okay, can I find the equation of this line? I have that point, and also I have the point. 10. 5. So if the whole thing zero. is 10. It's 5, 0. Okay, so this is 5, comma, 0. Okay, so I have the points. 8 comma 4 and 5 comma 0. If I find the slope of this line right here, which would be what? m equals to 4 minus 0 over 8 minus 5. So m equals to 4 over 3. So I could find the equation of the line, but I don't even need to do that, right? Because all I really care about is the fact that now I have to use the negative reciprocal. So I must use uh, m equals to negative 3 over 4. Opposite sign and reciprocal. That's going to be the slope of this line. Okay, and now I have a point and a slope. So y equals mx plus b. The m is negative 3 fourths x plus b. And now I use the other point that's on my line, which is 8 comma 4. And so 4 is the answer, negative 3 fourths times 8 plus b. 4 goes into 8 twice, we get 4 equals to negative 6, e oh sorry, plus b. So bringing it over, 10 equals to b. And so my equation is going to be 
y equals to negative 3 fourths x plus 10. Good. Questions, 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 questions. All right. See you tomorrow.